Hello there. Namaste. So, yeah, worst in the East. This is a One Piece episode eight, and I've been enjoying this ride throughout. As a diehard fan of One Piece, it's gotten me through a lot of tough times, hence my ace hat. I, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's do this. From now on, you belong to me. Mm. You draw maps for me. You have a gift. And I'm going to use it to rule these seas. The, mm. Yeah, there's something about taking this to live action that's absolutely... Oh my gosh, absolutely heart-wrenching cuz I've I've always had issues with things like this with it, it especially with when it comes to children, it's absolutely scarring. It hurt me when I watched the anime. It almost if I it almost made me stop. Honestly, it almost made me stop entirely cuz it was just so dark. But yeah, I'm glad I stuck with it and just this this show has gotten me through so many hardships in my life. And to this day, it's nice to basically have it all reimagined, yet with the heart and soul of One Piece. Not with uh, a random person sees the stories and goes like, oh, this is about pirates and it's funky. Let's do something dumb with it. No, no, it's it stays true to what it is. And it, it uh, it's just amazing. We didn't know. Can you ever forgive us? There's nothing to forgive. I do kind of think I preferred it when everyone actually really did know. They just shunned her to make her feel. Because then she, in the end, she, because right now, you literally know she's been alone her whole life. Her friends, family, her own village shunned her because they see, saw her as a traitor. Imagine living with that. I guess it's more impactful this way, but it, it's just, she was a little girl. She was tortured, tormented, chained up. It's yeah, well, I guess it's so much more powerful because I'm I'm getting upset because there was no one on her side. Coco Village is my home. Then I say we die trying to fight for it. No, everyone, please. No, I I won't let you do that. The acting this is, is da, 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 with the no. With all the people in the background, you start focusing on them. They just don't look as eager. They're just shouting to shout because they're told to do it. They don't look like someone who's actually a part of a mob. Ugh. This is our fight. The eyes are one of the most key things when it comes to acting. It, it, you can show a lot of emotion through the way you look. And the people in the background just don't look angry. They're shouting, sure. They're shaking their hands, sure. But they just don't look angry. Right, guys? I won't hesitate. Ooh. I like how they have the sun pirates right there, too. Respect. <laughs> Does it mean? Follow me. Your man can stay behind. His ears, they're too obvious. They're too... That's the one thing I can't stand. The ears. It's just his ears. Is that how the minks are going to look later? The pirate in a straw hat. He's the one responsible for this brutal attack. What? No. Cadets. That's not possible. Are you calling me a liar, boy? Uh, yes. <laughs> That's obvious what he's doing. Oh my gosh. But it, it's funny how he's trying to spin the narrative. Wait, how does Nezumi know about the straw hats? I don't think he's aware of them at all. The only conversation he had was with Arlong. I think that's just a little a little mistake. Sure, there, he probably knows that there's a new pirate on, on the rise. But still, blaming it on him? 
when he doesn't even know if he's there? Saying Luffy would never do anything like that. How dare you accuse me? I am a marine captain. I'm a vice admiral. Where is he now? Where is Luffy? <laughs> Let's speak up the page! <laughs> At Arlong Park. He's still oh, scared. I gotta say, I'm not happy that uh, Hachin isn't there because he is a key part of the story going forward. And the fact that he isn't here. Yes, he was a simple-minded fishman who you warm up to because he's just a lovable guy. And it shows the similarities between humans and fishmen and there are real no differences. You can make friends with everyone. I loved him there. But the fact that you remove him, they're just making fishmen out to be savages. My swords are pretty heavy. <laughs> I think that's the third time I've heard the Wellhelm scream. It, I love it when they put it in things. It just it makes you, it always reminds me of Star Wars. Even though that's not where it originated, that's where it got its title from. Choo choo. <laughs> Let me stop wearing them when I was 12. Said it was a birthday gift. Come on. Let's go. But you just got here. Hmm. It's so funny seeing that it's a theme park. That it's hilarious just seeing the slides around and everything. It just it just gives it so much of a different com comical feel. You were never going to spare me. You told Nezumi about my stash. <laughs> I'm just playing by human rules. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's just like that. I always talk about it. I, I love how this cap capsulates the fact that he's hateful. So he does the exact same thing that he accuses the people he hates of. It's just like, what, what sense does that make? Could you have used her so effectively? Use? <laughs> You're no better than that axe hand guy or that fake butler or anyone else who tries to hurt other people. Ah, uh, yeah. Preach it, Luffy. Preach it. Let everyone know. Get out of here, Nami. But Luffy... Just go. I got this. You can escape me, Nami! <laughs> That's the thing. Is like, Luffy at his most powerful is when he's most enraged at someone's actions towards someone else. This guy here, you don't know what Luffy needs? I know he needs my cooking. You mean putting two slices of bread together? <laughs> I love how they're competing. I love it. It starts off early and it just continues from then on. Honestly, if it wasn't for Nami being on the crew, they probably would have killed each other a long time ago. <laughs> Someone needs to rein them in. Oh, someone's feeling threatened. Shut up! Then get me back to my body. Yes! Oh, oh so much better than I even remembered. <laughs> hey, so, um, I'm gonna get out of here. Hey! <laughs> Where you going? Oh, okay. So they're making him just play a liar in uh, tricks, uh, basically more of a trickster than anything. Because in, in the anime, he actually tries to run away. Plays dead and tries to run away, and he's listening to his lie, remembering everything Nami's gone through. Everything that he heard in the village. Of course, we heard more, and it was far more impactful right then and there. But I guess it works here. He's grown as a person. You haven't even tried my hot sauce. Special attack! Exploding star! <laughs> yeah! Is he not gonna have like a Tabasco star? Is, is are they really not gonna add that in? Yeah, the great captain Usopp fails another notorious villain. 
band. No one's around. <laughs> Two against one again. I don't like that. I like how Luffy's going one on one. That's nothing. You should have seen Zeph's kicks when he found an eggshell in the cream brulee. I get it. Zeph's means <laughs> when he found an eggshell in the cream brulee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like how they hint at how he punished it, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> now you've done it. Godlet! All right, so he's calling out his moves too. I think they should have edited that a little quicker because when he's on the ground, it was just a little too slow. A little too slow. And it, it just feels like you... <laughs> just... All great fighters call out their finishing moves. Yeah. <laughs> no, they don't. Yeah, you're going to fit in just fine. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> as soon as he hears that, it's just like, yep, yeah, you'll be fine. Throw me! You're all okay. <laughs> You're the new guy. Where's Luffy? <laughs> still inside? She still remembers him as the weird guy who just wouldn't blink while staring at her. Oh, Gatling. Break his nose. No! The only human can bring down all of us! <laughs> it's falling no! around you! Come on, girl. You know he's rubber. This is not a big deal. Well, he could get pierced by a few things, I guess. Say it. Say it. Nami! You are our friend! We are your crew! <laughs> okay, that I could I could get me doing Sanji, but Sanji doing that, fanboying, that just I don't I don't it feels weird. Tangerine. Could be taught him to offer some private lessons. Nice try. <laughs> so pathetic. There you go, my lovely. Enjoy. Okay. What? I saved your ass. How do you figure? You don't even get your hands dirty. He said I don't need three swords to prove I'm a man. <laughs> three cheers for Captain Usa! Oh, come we on. Don't encourage that lunacy. Him. I mean, I know Luffy doesn't like getting the credit for what he does. He just does it because it's the right thing to do. But don't encourage someone for lying. You don't enable people. It's the worst thing to do. I disagree with those orders, sir. <sighs> Me too. <sighs> <laughs> he, he surrounds himself with free thinkers who are just like him. His, his petty vengeance is because he wants to correct his grandson. He chose to become a pirate. No, Grandpa. I've always been a pirate. No more running. I think I think he should have just said, I chose to be free. Because that's what he believes being a pirate is. Freedom. <laughs> I don't want to fight you, Grandpa. You've been fighting me your entire life. I, I, that line did not work. That line did not work because he just tried to punch him, and then after he gets punched, punched, he says, "I don't want to. I don't want to fight you." It's just... 
<laughs> that doesn't work after you were the first to strike, even though he ain't um. Rocket. Rocket! King of the pirates. <laughs> Gold Roger looks raggedy, but I guess he did spend time in a prison cell. Before he was executed, so it makes sense why he looks so beaten up, but still, it just doesn't look right. What about these straw hats? What about them? Arrest them too. They are the real criminals. <laughs> this just feels a little uncomfortable. Okay, this does happen. A situation like this does happen, but on the grand line after the Water Seven arc, after he basically takes out Eni's lobby, that's when this scene kind of plays out. Where he's fighting his 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 grandpa, and that's when you find out everything about his 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 family. Are they going to introduce it now? Is that what they're going to do? Have everything out in the open? But then again, is that going to change the story about? Are they going to change the story about his 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 siblings or his his brother? I mean, what are they going to do? What is there to do if they're going to try and shorten it and not make it as long as the well they changed, turned 50 episodes into 8-8 eight, eight, so they could easily shorten it to where it goes as as far and as long well not really as long but as far as they are now by just changing a few story beats I knew I'd never be able to change your mind you're stubborn couldn't you have gone a little bit easier where's the fun in that <laughs> Okay, didn't spill the beans about the family, so maybe there's still some secrets left for later on. I know what it means to fight for your family. And I promise I will never lose sight of that. What do you mean now you do? You started fighting for your family, for your loved ones, for your village the day your mother passed away. You understood in that moment what it meant to fight for your family. Don't say you understand it now. That seems a little strange. It's been years. Ah, uh, they already changed her tattoo. How's your arm? A little sore. Well, you stabbed it with a knife, and in the the, it it, it was much worse. Several stabbings before Luffy stopped her. They didn't spend enough time with Nojiko and Nami. That's the one thing that they've been sacrificing for this series. He's going to show him his bounty, isn't he? Oh, Kobe. <laughs> yeah. You did it. Give him a hug. Give him a hug. Yeah! You're a wanted man now. He's always been wanted. He's always been wanted. Be a good Marine. Be a great Marine. Kobe, a great Marine. Be a good pirate. <laughs> He'll be the king. You do not need to worry about him. <laughs> Usopp's gonna be happy he's on the poster. Hey, look, I'm famous. Yeah. What do you want about us? Luffy's wanted poster. <laughs> Okay, so one thing that's missing is Smoker. Because I remember they go to Logtown after the whole Arlong incident, and that's where they run into Smoker. Are they going to have just a few minutes? Because it seems like they're going to go straight to the, the Grand Line. Are they going to spend a few minutes to go to Lo uh, Logtown? We're going to the Grand Line. Oh, in the, in the anime, one of the greatest sequences is when the poster gets spread and then everyone who basically has it like every time like his bounty right arises they go across to every single place he saved or someone who has an affiliate with like his crew or something like that and they're all like proud of him and it's it's always amazing to see everyone excited to see him and his bounty rise because <laughs> they're rooting for a pirate it's just so backwards <laughs> yeah. 
Usopp. <laughs> That's someone who's lovesick. <laughs> Thirty million. He's gonna be angry. I kill the little shit myself. If you don't, I will. Okay, please tell me. Please tell me. Alvito was just in a fat suit in the beginning. Please tell me she was just in a fat suit. Oh, come on. Come on. D d mm. So they're not going to give her her, her devil fruit. Hey, does she actually looks bigger now than she does before. <laughs> the hell of a first bounty. Yep. I'm ready to accept my punishment. Yes. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> All men have their own brand of justice. And you both followed yours, so... But that's the thing. Luffy's doing the exact same thing. I think that's what Garp understands. Luffy just... It would be too chaotic to even be a Marine. Because his brand of code would go against the majority of what he sees happening in the Marines. He would go against it. And he would end up having... Well, let's just say Garp would end up having a, a repeat of what he... So again, it, he's dealing with it again, but yeah, it's, it's better to have Luffy be free in the beginning than force him into something and lead to something even worse. Well, worse or better, depending on where your stance is on what, what anyone who knows what's going on. It, I, I just trying to be as vague as possible. So it's not spoilers for if they're going to go that route. And if they're not, then I'll just be rambling about everything that actually happens in the the main story, and what they changed. So. You think you're up for it? You gotta train <laughs> yourself. <laughs> you want? I want to get stronger too. Like my friend. Aww. Or whatever. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, red hair. I'm not here to fight. Not when you're half the man you used to be. Yeah. I could still take it. And with one arm tied behind my back. <laughs> <laughs> a boy you mentioned long ago. In a, from a small village in a straw hat. Bring up the reserve booze, boys! Thought you were hungover. <laughs> it's a little piece of home to take with you in our journey. And I can whip up tangerine tarts anytime you want. Aww. In reality, those things would be weathered and destroyed by the ocean air. But it's a cute thought. And I like it because it is what's like in the anime. But thinking about it, seeing it live action and thinking about it, I'm like, yeah, the ocean air would destroy that. <laughs> we actually have something for you, too. Usopp! Set the main! Setting the Oh, main. yes. Oh, I love it. Goosebumps! Goosebumps! <laughs> okay, so they're gonna go to Logtown. Draw that! After this. I'm gonna find the old blue. Oh, yes. They are doing it. <laughs> I'm gonna be king of the pirates. They're doing the flashbacks. I'm gonna be the world's greatest swords. I'm gonna draw a map of the world. They didn't have her say it as a kid, though, I guess. A great warrior of the sea. I'm gonna become a brave warrior of the sea! Mm, same. <laughs> <laughs> But if they're not going to go to Logtown, Smoker's not in season one. I thought they were going to finish all the East Blue in this, but I, I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. It's a way to start it off because this is definitely the end of the episode. But as long as Smoker is a key part, they introduced him already. I loved how they had him. And yeah, we, we I, I need him. 
I need him. He's he's a huge part of the series. Oh wait, this this is, this is the, okay. That explains the smoke. <laughs> Okay, so, um, yeah, that's, the Smoker's definitely here. Smoker's definitely in it, and he's going to be the start of the Season 2. Please let there be a Season 2. Please, please, please. This is amazingly well done. This is, like, that's the thing. I've been hearing, uh, I've been reading articles about uh, One Piece and how they have been considered it, it's praised worthy uh what the person the owner of netflix or whatever it is some ceo or big part person in netflix was talking about how this is a huge step forward but it's like it's always been easy to adapt it just don't change the story or try to re-envision it in a western mindset that's where things go to die don't try to adapt like what they did with a uh, death note what they did with uh uh Crap, I can't, I can't remember the name of it. Whatever. But it's just like Cowboy Bebop. What they do with Cowboy Bebop. It's just, they destroy it. Absolutely destroy it. Dragon Ball Evolution. Even Speed Racer. I enjoy Speed Racer, but that's because I see it as Hot Wheels, not Speed Racer. They, they, they don't understand how to keep it the same. Because there's a difference between uh, those the, a Western story structure and an Eastern story structure. They're both completely different from one another. And you just got to stay, keep it faithful to it. You've got to stick to the source material. You can change things up as long as it stays faithful to its core values of a story. Because I was surprised that Kawina was saying that, oh, I'm a woman, I can't do this stuff. It's just like, yeah, yeah. It's called biology. Yes, thank you. That's a scientific rationalization. Yet, if you watch a lot of things that come out recently from the West, well, that kind of talk, biology, science, is thrown out the window for emotion. And emotion has no place when you're trying to make an argument in the fact that Kawina was using logic, and a little girl is using logic to in her argument and Zoro was the one who was being emotionally driven because he's lost to Kuina multiple times and yes I, I just I love that they kept that in it other than that Kuina's backstory and Zoro's backstory was weak but that is what was said in the original but most things would take that and change it most most western when they adapt it they would have changed it they would have probably but it, I, I like I like how it's completely faithful. Everyone serves a purpose. Everyone has their own flaws. Nobody is perfect. And they better not be. As soon as you come across perfect, perfect uh, people, you don't like them. Because they're not likable. They're never likable. There's no, there's no struggle. It's hard, to, like even, even in life, it's hard to get along with someone who's, well, completely different than yourself. That's why you give people uh, frailties. That's why you give people issues because it's easier to identify with someone who has issues rather than with someone who's perfect, which is why a lot of things in the West flop because they no longer know how to draw frail people. Well, especially frail women and strong men. They just don't know how to draw, uh, write them. <laughs> Did I say draw? <laughs> but yeah, this is absolutely a good story yes it had its comedic beats yes it had its dark beats yes it had its cheesy cheesy moments some of its uh swords some of the rigging on the ship some of the things like usopp's weapon looks way too plastic everything a lot of stuff looks fake but i absolutely 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 enjoyed it still Probably not as great as a heavily edited anime where they edit out all the fluff and just keep the story like all there. Because you could probably make it much quicker, much more entertaining. Because there are a lot of long pauses just to fill out the runtime. But this, oh my gosh, completely faithful. I did not think they would keep all the villains from uh, the East Blue and they have. Even though Smoker wasn't here, he's going to be the start of season two. And they better introduce Dragon. They better introduce just, oh, Chopper better be there. Nico Robin better be there. 
I don't think they'll introduce Brooke or Frankie. That'll probably be the the season three. But unless they're trying to, because honestly, what was it that it could have all ended in the Alabasta arc? So if they're trying to rush it, they could probably just do that there. But they're gonna miss so much, so much. And they've they've kind of hinted at like the Sky Islands with her reading the book of uh, Nolan the Liar. Because they end up meeting, you know what? I'm gonna go into the, the realm of spoilers. Um, yeah, <laughs> if I haven't already, but yeah, everyone knows the crew, so that's not spoilers. But they should be meeting two of them at least in season two, and then two others in season three, and then yeah. Thank you all for watching. I definitely enjoy this, and most likely I'll be seeing it a few times in a row, a few times, absolutely. Netflix, keep this type of storytelling up. Keep this type of faithful originality to the original work up. Don't don't veer off the path the way you did with The Witcher. You you brought a, you what you got to do. You have a baked in fan base. Keep that fan base happy. And what's going to happen with doing live action? You're going to bring in new fans, and that's going to make you even more successful. What you did with The Witcher, you brought the fan base in to watch it, and then they never returned for season two, and even fewer returned for season three, and even, well, if there's even going to be a season four. As long as you keep the fans happy, you will always have an audience. Always. Because the fan base, which is the silent majority, will, will always come back to watch what they absolutely love. The loud minority will always whine and moan, but they won't give you the profit you need from it. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Doodles.